you live in the Magic Valley, you probably have noticed black flies, also known as buffalo gnats, which have the maddening habit of swarming just in front of your face. Besides being annoying to people, black flies are also serious pests of livestock, causing reduced weight gain and transmitting disease. Vesicular stomatitis can be transmuted long distances by black flies. It mimics foot and mouth disease, and an outbreak would have serious financial impact to the dairy and livestock industries and associated business. Unlike mosquitoes that live in standing water, black fly larvae require moving water to survive. Clean, fast-flowing, turbulent water provides an ideal habitat for them. The larvae attach to submerged rocks or grass in flowing watercourses and filter the water for food. The larval stage lasts for several months during the winter or as little as a week during the summer. Adult females disperse from larval habitats in search for blood meals and are capable of flying 20 to 30 miles or more. The adults generally live less than two weeks, and they return to the flowing waters, including rivers or canals, to lay eggs. Each female may lay up to 600 eggs, which may hatch and develop to an adult stage in as little as 7 to 10 days. The Magic Valley was built on a canal system, and these canals provide the perfect habitat for black flies. A section of main canal is able to produce about a billion black flies per mile per day. Not only that, but the water quality in the Magic Valley is improving, creating an even more stable environment for these pests. So how do we control the black fly population? We start with surveillance. We need to know where they're at and at what larval stage. Larvae have a window of time when they are feeding that gives us the ability to effectively control them. If the conditions are right, flow rates are considered and the meticulously calculated amount of product is added to the water. In the case of black flies, a natural soil bacteria known as BTI is used. BTI releases crystals that are toxic to a mosquito larva's digestive system, but are absolutely safe for humans and animals. A treatment program targeting black flies in Twin Falls County has been operating for several years. However, the ability of black flies to fly long distances complicates management efforts since adults can migrate to our area from untreated breeding sites outside the county. Winter treatment is especially effective in controlling the very hardy black fly population. If left unchecked, black flies can actually increase their numbers even in the winter months. The Snake River is one of the largest overwintering habitats in our area, and by treating the river, we are able to reduce the number of black flies that would otherwise colonize canals, which benefits the entire region.